an adjustment. Give him quickly. The lob. Barton the finish. Cortez free throw attempt. No good. The rebound to Matt Thomas. Here comes Kane. Three seconds ahead to Naz Long. He's going to fire for the body. Presented by Verizon. Gallagher Ive Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Is a setting for tonight's game between Iowa State and Oklahoma State. A lob play. Lob and good. Stuffed down on the break offensively. Going on Nash again. Kick back outside. Here's Kane. Open look three inside outside. A beautiful pass by Nian. Three on Kane. two. Lob pass knocked away beautifully. And up the floor open man Kane and he flushes it. He's a closing back in. Turned it over. Forte had it stolen. Morris two on one. Kane finishes. What a beautiful drive. A great matchup. There is Kane outside, knocks down the three right over Smart. Biggest lead of the night. But right back to three on the pass to Kane. Back and roll with Niang. Uh oh. Thomas, yes! The lead for the Cyclones. How about three? now? Kane goes back out, and here is Long. Long knocks him down. 1.4 seconds and ties it at 89. Pass. Inside, back out to Hogue, and Hogue puts on Iowa State ball. They attack inside for the three, Morris. Yes! Switch with the taller Hogue. Brown will take it past Edger. To be a higher percentage play. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. Nash is out there, deep. Nash has got it, fade corner. Off the iron. Iowa State upsets Oklahoma State in triple overtime in Stillwater. A sellout crowd at Hilton Coliseum in Ames as Phillips 66 presents Big 12 basketball. Particularly when you have a freshman doing that, you've got to take care of the rubber. William Dustin Hope at Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. It was turnaround jumper. The lob inside from the end. Another rebound. They got numbers. Jim was yet another rebound and another basket. So nine games now in Iowa State history. <laughs> Edgem's hands got that one. I've run out of superlatives. What a day for Melvin Edgem. So Melvin Edgem with 48 points and eight rebounds, 18 rebounds to lead Iowa State to an 84-69 victory. Now Saturday afternoon, we are in Ames and from Hilton Coliseum, it's senior day and Oklahoma State takes on Iowa State. Really good offensive defensive matchup. There's the lob, there's Edgem and he puts it in. Very few people talk about him. He's on your first team all Big 12, correct? He's on everybody, really, every coach in the league. Here's the Finds Kane with the smaller Marshall Brown on Niang again for three. And he gets no to go. Good rhythm. Kane, Euro step. Smooth. And Travis Ford calls timeout. Niang to Edgem. And one. Melvin Edgem to the line. And last time Iowa State led this time. Thomas gives him a lead. He's long. They'll set it back up under six to go. Dustin Hall from George Neal. Time now, Cowboys. Fans flopping teams might be doing some really nice. Now he does to get the ball into Phil Forte's hands. So I would almost face guard Forte. He screams and comes back to the ball. 
they foul him. Senior day, so. Oh, you're in. They got a chance at it. Long. His free throw attempt, no good. The rebound to Matt Thomas. Here comes Kane, three seconds. Ahead to Naz Long. He's gonna fire for the tie. Get difficult, Forte's free throw attempt. No good, the rebound to Matt Thomas. Here comes Kane, three seconds. Ahead to Naz Long. He's gonna fire for the tie. Good! Naz Long does it again! Are you kidding me? Naz Long, who did it in Stillwater, does it again in Ames. A three-pointer to force overtime! Oh my goodness! Rejected, gets it back. Close lead. Great block by Markel Brown. Brown speeds. I was thinking about and they'll the march it down the other. I was thinking about the fans. We were underground. I understand. And the snow outside of first half. I just want to make it. Take the sequel in overtime. On Senior Day, 85-81, the final here at Hilton. We have reached the semifinal round. Another huge crowd on hand here at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. And this should be a dandy. Hoiberg has it. He utilizes them in spaces that they can be effective, like right there. You called it, Brian. Yep. He ain't stepping out. Black, black, uh, black, but... They're doing a good job of staying vertical, more or less. Seldon needs to step up with Wiggins in foul trouble. And it is good. And one energy contributes. Seldon got there quickly on Naz Long that time. And so Kane, the three. Yes, comes down another one. Be Wiggins handing off to Green. And here comes Green into the end. Is going to be called. And look at this, blood all over. He needs medical attention. Wow, let's get somebody there. Do <laughs> you understand? He's the man. <laughs> They will play either Baylor or Texas tomorrow night for the Big 12 Championship. What a performance by the Cyclones. Number 21 handling the ball. Niang at the top. Guns in a run for 14 to keep him. Now Keen at the other end. They're short on a lot of jumpers, just shooting 38. For the lead. He's an amazing shooter. Long again. Gets it back for the Sunday. Edger. Yang drives it to the hole. Wraps it around the seven for the Austin.
Settle in, folks. There are several big time games in the SEC versus Big 12. This is one of them. We have a very efficient offensive machine right now for the Cyclones. To the floor go the Cyclones. Back with the loose ball. Drive! Slam! Dijon Jones. Hello! Welcome to Ames, Iowa. A running ref comes to the Midwest. Here, the 20th ranked team. Iowa State leading number 18, Arkansas. Beautiful pass after the timeout, and a finish by Dijon Jones. This is an out-of-body experience right now for Arkansas. They haven't played this way all season long. It's a good team. Zone quickly moving. Dijon Jones knocks down a three ball. It's hard for him to operate in the paint because they're double teaming the ball out of the corner. Morris is cut up by Madden. Now he reloads and drives to the end. A nice driving field goal. Well, the experts thought this would be a high scoring game for him, and uh, Iowa State certainly done their part. Knocking down the three ball. Speaking of high scoring games, uh, so Iowa State 95. And Arkansas, 77, the Razorbacks with their first loss of the season. Tipped away by Morris. Two on one with Long. And Morris will take it himself. Nian spinning too strong off the glass. Tip up and good by Ho. Made it for three. He's 17 years old when he got the Lawrence. Nian at the other end. Cyclones back within one. A terrific pass by Mason out the ground. Long. Yes. Strong drive by Naz Long to give Iowa State a three-point lead heading into halftime. Trailer cleared some space and then missed the layup. Good no call by the official because Hope fly. Long for three. That was not a forced error, that was unforced. Morris lobs it up, and McKay the finish. Those floater passes, Kentucky does this a lot. Landon, Landon Lucas is drawn to try to block a shot, and it's just lobbed right up to the bucket to Jamil McKay. And Oubre finishing strong. And right back at you. How about that? Is there a big man in the country who runs the floor as well as Jameel McKay? Crowd wanted an over the back on Lucas, but the Cyclones have the ball. And it's a five on four. And it's McKay! Doesn't force it. The clock is there out. Holmes wide open. Can't do it much better than Iowa State just did it. Iowa State wins it. Dancing to the music of senior night here in Ames, Iowa. Iowa State hoping to snap a two-game losing streak. Iowa State basketball. Inbound Niang hoists a three. Left wide open. Isaiah Taylor knocks down the winning field goal in overtime. And that is a huge win as Matt Thomas here knocks it down. For those of you who are watching, but there was a technical call on Cousins as you were leaving. It is for using abusive and profane language against the bench. It uh, results in a technical foul. Niang on the deck drives and one. Okay, that time he had space. He had the smaller cousins. And that's the first time tonight that he looks like George Niang. Great steal by Iowa State. Here come the Cyclones. Here he comes. Kicks. Morris. Yes. Deficit in this building.
Morris. Slides inside. Seven. This place will explode. Hey, watch. They've just given up running offense, and they're just spreading the floor right now. Good strategy. Niang. Yep. Brent, they stopped running plays, and they've just put four guys in the deep corners, and they're going to work. That's an adjustment. Tony Robert. Mercy. Hogue's first hoop of the night makes it a three. They've cut it 21 to three. Is it magic when he misses both free throws? You know the answer. <laughs> 48-45 now. Morris has had the hot hand drives, scores, and he's on the line. We're shooting for a tie. Do you believe it? And getting a break. Hope outside. Yes. For the first time tonight, Iowa State leads this basketball game. They were once down by 21. This is it back. Booker wanted the three. Ball loose, turn it over. Give it now to me. Magical. Loose. Long three at the buzzer. That would have counted. Iowa State comes back to win by seven. 77 70. And I think you got to give them quickly. The lob. Two. Morris drives it at him, slips it to the corner. Donovan Jackson oh. knocks down a three. 49 seconds. McKay deflects the inbounds, up with it, Mason, and he'll fire, and it won't go. And the Cyclones are the Big 12 Tournament champions for the second consecutive year. How about that?